I have all them put together now. <coughs> now we want strips to go right in here. Right, right down through here. So <coughs> let's pull this back out here. <coughs> so I want just a little bit over a yard because that right there is coming out to be a yard. So that's not too bad. <coughs> I think it's turning out really pretty. I'm, I'm happy with it. Okay, I can handle that. Open this up, <clears throat> and I would love to go by, um, be able to fold it, but you're not going to get a good, um, you're not going to get good there. So, the best thing to do is to cut them out individually. So that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> now the ones that I want, I believe I want to go with the bigger ones. Now let's go with the small. I'll, I'll look and see which one I like best. You know what? Let's go free handed on this bad baby. I think I can do better free handed. I need to change this. Oh, thank you. <coughs> you don't want me to bring you drinking. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll get me there. Thank you, Mom. All right, I think we need like three strips, and um, then we can put it together. So I'm only gonna cut out what I need. A uh, Rick went to the bullet for a walk. Let's see, how many do I have? One, two, I, I want one more. I'm just going to go like this. And it does, it's not going to matter. There we go. Cut just a little bit of this off. Thank you. There we go. All right, I'm going to go eat my bread, and then we'll be back. <coughs> all right, I went ahead, and I cut out all of it. So, I need to cut this that off of that. So, I should have two of those. <coughs> now, I'm going to separate them. So I'm going to pick three of them that will work going across all of it so that you put them together. But we're going to use the rest of these strips too, so we're not going to worry too much about it. Okay, now, find out which one I want. There's that one. And here's this one. So, which one would be easier? I think I'm going to save these. The 
put on the outside. I think that would be better. So I'm going to get three of these, and I'm also going to save the rest of them to put on it too. So I think we need three of these to go across here. So I'm going to save these two. Alrighty. Now we are down to here. And what we're going to do with this one is the same identical thing. Lay them across this way. And be mindful of your bolt there. Now, we're starting to get down to the nitty gritty of it. And you're like, but you still ain't put the roses on. Like I said, that's the last thing that you do is put the roses on. Going to be pretty, Rick. Going to be pretty. I liked that thing last night where I, I seen you in the mirror. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was pretty nifty. Yeah. Once you found out what you somebody walked through. Yeah, I was like, what? Alrighty. I've got to move stuff around. So I got to pile over here, get to the sewing machine. So, let's go sew this down. <laughs> Alright, I've still got a problem here. <coughs> See, I'm going to do those. Hey, get rid of those. Fold that in, down. Now remember now, we want enough on each side. Like that right there. So those down. Leave it there. Alright. It's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Now, I don't know what this right here is on here, but it was on here when I got the material. It was in that um, yardage thing. So, there's that. That's the only spot so far I've seen on the material was that. But if I didn't know that, I'd have cut that out. I wouldn't have used that. But, it's there. Okay. Let's add us another one on. We're going to do the same identical thing. Make sure all this is lined up. <clears throat> Alrighty, I'm going to get this done. All of them sewed together and then we'll be back. Alright. Let's take a look at it. So far, that's what it looks like. 
beautiful. But we're not done with it now. We're not done with it. We need to put some border around it. So, we're going to put this aside. We're going to grab that out here. Yeah. And, oh, got to find my iron. I don't know what I did with my iron. <laughs> it's okay. Alright. So, what I'm going to do, <clears throat> cut me off another chunk of it. <clears throat> and I'm just going to cut off a chunk. <clears throat> Maybe. If it'll let me. Alright, so. <clears throat> What I'm going to do is I'm going to iron this thing down and <clears throat> then we'll be back because i got to let my iron heat up because it's, I didn't turn it on. But this needs to be ironed. Alright, we'll be back. Alright, our next thing that we need to do, now that we got this taken care of, I'm going to line this right here up. Give her a wipe down so that we got a level way to go. <clears throat> then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to cut it down to <coughs> five inches. <clears throat> There's one. See what I'm saying about this table? Y'all been sticking it with me? <clears throat> well, you can't cut on it no more, can you? I can't cut on it no more. Alright, there's one. Two. Three, ah, oh, come on now. I have faith in you. <laughs> ah, good. Five. <laughs> and we want six of these. Six of these at five inches. All righty. Now then. I want to take two of these, lay them out flat, line them up together, Cut them in half. Now, I want to take each one of these and sew them to one of these. These are going to make it long enough to go all the way around the quilt. So 
Well, I guess that's what I'm going to do now, and then I'll be back. It's about time to take the old man to work, too. All right, we'll be back. All right. Now, let's go over the measurements so we got them down. This one right here is five inches long from salvage to salvage with a half on it. Okay? These right here should be, this one's six. Let's we'll see what this one is. This one's six. So we got six on these. And now these right here are six too. And this is my backing. Yep, six. So we have all of them made. that one. Here's these. And these. Now, we are going to take and we are going to <clears throat> start adding them to this. So we're going to take one front and we want to make sure our seam is coming up. Okay? And we have plenty. Let's see if I can go this direction. There we go. Oh, it almost fits it right here. I don't know if you can see it or not. But let's go that direction like that. I'm just going to put me some pins in it to hold it. We're gonna repin it. Ow! I, I'm. I, I've got to find one of them. Uh, probably on my agenda next is to make one, so I don't quit. I quit that. All right, we're gonna turn this bad baby over. And I'm gonna cut that off. Because I really don't need that much. In the long run, it'll just be in the way. <clears throat> now we want one backing. Let's see, where's my seam at on this one? Right down there. So I want my seam to go that way. Then the reason why is so we will accidentally bun up. That would not be cool at all. Have a big old bolt right there. <laughs> and then we want one of these. We're going to be able to cut some of that off too. So we're doing good. So, now, we want to make sure all these right here are lining up. All the way down. I think I'm going to start talking about slavery. Okay? Now, y'all might get mad and all this good stuff. I don't want no last comment. This is my belief. You can either take it with a grain of salt or you can take it with something sour. Either way you want. I don't, I, I don't care. But I'm going to give you my intake. On the way I see it. Now, go back to the War of the States. The War of the States started on who was going to govern who. You can say it's, no, it wasn't, it was slavery. All you want. But, I don't believe that. Because if it was about slavery, why did Abraham Lincoln and others keep their slave? Why didn't they go free? Now, I'm not saying that um, there was not some that that was not um, 
mistreated in everything is I, mean, I don't care what you look at in everything there is things that are mistreated all the time people are mistreated in everything so <clears throat> I don't believe that that it was just over slavery and it wasn't it's going to see who was going to govern who you might as well stay, say it was the war to, uh, of the states to see who was going to govern who Ooh, I might be able to use this one Ha ha, I can. Alright, put that there so I can use it. But, me and Work was talking about it. And, I believe, okay, let's sew this one down. I'm not going to try to do two of them. i got to get this out of my way now. Alright, here. We'll turn it around so you can see the sewing machine. <laughs> now let's just take a gander at the way that things went about. See, they, the, they wanted to have a war on who was going to govern who. The state, each individual state, which they call colonies, or the U.S. government. And the U.S. government, <coughs> if memory serves me right, was losing. So they added in the slavery to... Um, To keep it going, not only for money, but to try to get the control over us, the people. Which, of course, if you look, they have it. <clears throat> a slave that does not know he's a slave is a good slave. Get what I'm coming up? Or a good slave that doesn't know it's a slave, you know? However that thing goes, I don't know how it goes. But, <clears throat> if you go back and look at history, the plantation person had to, had to um, keep them fed, clothed, housed, all the necessities of life. And of course they did get other things. You can't tell me that all of them, everybody, was done dirty. I don't, I don't believe that. I can't believe that. Because uh, my great-grandpa, I think it was, had, uh, had slaves. And when he set them free, when he would go and visit them, they would yell, Oh, he, uh, Grandpa might come back to get us, you know. And... And they wanted to go back. So, <clears throat> that tells me that the government is not telling the truth on it. Okay? So, now I don't know how much we'll be able to get in going back and forth and doing all this. So, anyway. <coughs> Um, I am losing my point. I'm losing my mind. Alright, so let's try this a different way. I'm not saying people were, were not mistreated. They were. They were a lot of people mistreated because people mistreat people. I don't care if you look at it. But as far as the war, saying the war was to free slavery, I don't believe that. Do it. Because there was too much, too much of other things added in to the end of the war. So, I don't believe that.
we we today are slaves. No, we're not. We're free. No, freedom. Mm -mm. If the, if we are living in freedom, why why can I live where where I want to? Why do I have to have fluoride in my water? Why do I have to <coughs> have a law that says I gotta use my turn signal? Why all these other laws? I mean, there's stupid laws on the book. Stupid laws. So, I'm hoping you're gonna see me. Can you get where I'm coming from? So, I kinda don't believe everything we're being told. Because the government will lie to us and they, they did all this to change history. Because they don't want you to learn the real history of what's going on. That's like the Bible. They don't want you to learn the truth about the Bible. They want you to continue on and go to these uh, controlled churches. And don't think they hate control. Y'all will say, no, they teach Christ. No, this is the false Christ. You think it's the real Christ, but it's not. Because if it was the real Christ and all being taught in the church, then you wouldn't do Christmas. Christmas is a pagan holiday. And believe it or not, <clears throat> you are enslaved to their doctrine. So there you go again. Don't leave me no nasty comments. You are the one that has to uh, look at the situation and check it out for yourself. You're the one that has to see what's right and what's wrong. And if you don't, and all, but that's your own, that's your own thing. I'm just telling you what I have learned over the years. And over the years... <laughs> Over the years, and oh, let's just take cut that down. I have seen the true. Well, the truth is, and the government is, is your God if you allow it to be. But when you come to the knowledge of truth and let Jesus Christ. Are you kidding me? Oh, I wish that was over here to see. I put that down and them, all them pins went right in my hand. And went all over the floor. Okay, I'll catch them later. But anyway. Um, the government is trying its best to rule everything. You know, Satan has come to kill, steal, and destroy. And that is what he's doing. He's kill, steal, and destroy. It's all over the place. And it's up to us to find the truth and get out of it. And the only way you're going to get out of it is through Jesus Christ. Well, I know that was more than two. But I got two. We'll have to find the rest of them later. So, let's get the back first. I don't want to be no slave, but we all kind of are at where we are now. You know what I mean? 
because the government tells us what to do and what we shouldn't do. We shouldn't have to pay for a shed in our backyard. We shouldn't pay taxes. Look, I was born in America. I was born on this earth. I should not have to pay to be born. But we are being, you, are, you and I, all of us are being paid because we were born here. So, we're put under the rulership of Satan till we come to the knowledge of who Jesus Christ is. Then when we come, get to the knowledge of Christ, then we are set free from what is going on, the real thing. If you understand what I'm trying to say. And, I mean, you, you can't get no planner. Let's trim that down. We don't, we don't need that much. Let's get a little closer. I'm happy with my life now that I know who Jesus Christ is. Can't get any better. Now we're going to put this one down. Now where is the seam on that one? It's not down here. Right here. So we'll make sure put the seam up this direction. Make sure my seam is going up. I, I don't know if I've said everything I wanted to say or not, but. <clears throat> I do know that if you go back, oh, probably about the 60s, they had everything segregated and all. Yeah, the blacks were free, but really, were they? They couldn't drink out of the same fountain as us. They couldn't go into a restaurant as us. The front door, they had to go through the back door. You, you see where I'm coming from? So, that's not, you know, that's not being free. And there was this one little boy. I don't remember his name. I'd have to go hunting and to find it. But this little boy, he would come from, I think, Mississippi with a, with a colored were free into a state that what I, I think that's the way it went. It's been a while since I have uh, uh, watched that. So um, but the woman in the grocery store said that he had made a pass at her, which really I don't think she did, he did, if he, if he did, it didn't deserve death, because they took that little boy, he was like 14 years old, and I mean, <laughs> he, he was unrecognizable, really unrecognizable. And there was no need in that. Tell you what, that's why I see it. Everybody has blood running through their veins. I don't care who you are. Where'd that blood come from? Jesus Christ said in the Bible, blood is the life. Life is in the blood. So, that tells me that God put life in our blood. 
And that's where the lines should be. It shouldn't be what they, they're doing and, and painting it with this vaccines and everything. That all they are just destroying. You go out and get all the vaccines you want, I don't care. I don't get them. And if you say, oh gosh, I don't want to be around you, you can have Ebola. Look, if you take an Ebola shot and you don't trust that Ebola shot and I have Ebola, by cracky, you deserve it. If you cannot rely on what you're getting. Because, <laughs> just sorry about your luck. You know? God put us here, and there is a cure for everything that man is putting out there, even if the cure is death. Okay? Get where I'm coming from? Even if the cure is death, that is a cure. We haven't got much to work. We're going to be done with this bad baby. And it's going to look pretty. I hope you call me and tell me you don't want it. Or write me and tell me you don't want it. Well, this is turning out pretty. Even exactly like it is without the flowers on it yet. Well, it really is. It's pretty. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure you're not going to call write me and say no I don't want it you're going to be going wow she's doing that for me I can hear you I can be a fly on the wall she's doing that for me yeah I am remember Jesus Christ loves you <laughs> and that's why I do this so I can share the gospel and be able to talk about you know things that need to be talked about when they come on my heart because if they don't come on my heart I ain't talking about it alright I'm going to get off of here and I'm going to put the other sides on and I'll and then after I get the, the whole thing done, then we'll be back. Wow, we look at that. Ain't that pretty? We have got it down to here. Now I am trimming it down so that we can um, get her finished. Let's turn it out. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, we got all that right there done. Yes. Now, we need to take and I'll throw whatever and Put us a border all the way around it. So, I took the other ones that I had cut up and I sewed them all together. So now we want to do this in halves. We're going to start down here. Don't never want to start on a corner. Start right here. See, I go this direction with it. It's easier on the right hand or not a left hand. We're going to pin this one down all the way around. We're going to sew it down. And then we're going to flip it around. And sew this right here, side right here to the other side. You want to take this side, you want to open it up, make an arrow like right here, give myself enough room, there we go, got it anyway, nah, nah, nah. 
and then we want to <clears throat> pin it down. Now when you go to sew it, <clears throat> start sewing it back here so you got plenty of room to stuff your ending in there. So we are going to continue to go around right here. Let me get you a little bit over here so you can see me. And right here in the corner, everything flat as a pan. Put me a pin there. Roll this around. Now, this is the way I do it. Come right here. And I take and I fold it up. Let's see. Goes, yeah, it goes that way, right? Yep, it has to go that way. Da -da 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 -da. Gotta figure it out. Seems like forever and a day since I did this. Corner. Yep, get back down here. Alright, let's do this. Do it the old fashioned way. Stick me a pin right here in the corner going in towards the middle. And then we're going to go this way with it. There we go. Then you got it laying flat right up here. And then we're going to continue on down. There we go. I knew you could come up with it, Sandy. You remember, you just have to to find the file cabinet that your brain is working from. Ah ha. <laughs> Turn it around. We'll continue to pin. I'm going to continue to pin it all the way around. I'm going to give it a sew around. Then whenever we come back, I'll show you what else we need to do. We are just about done with this thing. And I'm going to have to say goodbye to it soon. After you send me the postage on it. Okay, so I'll be back.